Hey everybody, Adam Savage in my cave, talking to you through my Fluke Acoustic Imager. Now Fluke are the makers of meters and other equipment. Uh, I have been a fan of their products for almost 40 years. My very first multimeter was a Fluke multimeter I saved up for and bought at the Foothill College Ham Radio Swap Meet in 1991. But I've told this story before in another video covering this amazing machine, the Acoustic Imager. We'll include a link in the description. Um, I didn't even know such a thing existed. I'm talking to a camera that is in the middle of a 64 microphone array, and it uses all those microphones and a crap ton of some super intense compute in order to put imagery over sound. That's why when you're watching me talk, you're seeing that, that thing in front, and if I laugh, <laughs> yeah, right? Okay. so. I thought this was one of the coolest things. Oh, right, I can look at the camera now. I thought this was one of the coolest things I had ever seen. I used it to repair the leak in a bicycle tire, which just filled me with joy as an absurd and magnificent use for such an incredible piece of scientific equipment. But then Fluke reached out after that video went up and they said, we really loved it, but we want you to know that we just gave the acoustic imager a new ability. Um, up until now, the acoustic imager looks for a difference in sound. It looks for the anomalous sound within its range. And you can choose the sound hertz range, but you can't point it at a vessel and learn whether that vessel has a leak. Until now. Uh, regard the Fluke SB140 sound beacon. This little block of aluminum puts out a 40K 40,000 hertz signal. You can't hear that. It's more than double what human hearing range is in. But you put this, you turn this beacon on, and now a 40,000 hertz signal, plus or minus one and a half dB, is coming out of this tube. And if I put that inside a vessel, oh, right, let's talk about this vessel. <laughs> this is a, a beautiful piece of ceramics from my wife. Uh, it's been in our house for a long time, and it's got a crack in it. Not a crack you can see, but a crack you can hear. And we, we could isolate that crack by putting some water in here, but we're going to try using the acoustic beacon instead and see, uh, see what we can see. Uh, letting that go to the bottom. Now, it's important, apparently, for the use of these that it be a sealed container. So I'm gonna put some rubber over the top and hold my hand over and I'm gonna spin it and hopefully, hopefully, well, let me get this camera set up. There we are. <laughs> I feel like having a nice bright background. Uh, let's try that, there we go, great. So I'm gonna turn the beacon on. Turn the beacon on. And I'm gonna put it in the vessel here. There it goes. And you see it, the sound up at the top here? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna cover that over and hopefully when I spin that, we should be able to isolate where the crack in this vessel might be. Yep, starting to see it. Yeah. There it is. Amazing. Um, this is, I love this so much. This is not something you would use to find a crack in your ceramics, but the fact that it can see it blows my mind. Uh, the beacon here is used more often for stuff like uh, automobile seals and refrigerator seals. Um, I wanted to try putting it in my lab oven behind me here, this guy, because it has no seals at all, and I just want to see what that looks like. Um, we will start with just taking a raw image of this before. Go. Good eat. So as we can see, there's no no sound coming out of this right now. But let me put the imager in there. And lo, yeah, you can see it coming around. And I'm sure if I bring this around, yep, you can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I bring it around, you can see that it's all around the perimeter of there. I just, I like seeing expected behavior. So we got a couple of positives and now I have an unknown to test. Back during Savage Builds, we bought this vacuum chamber 
uh, specifically for a shoot on Savage Builds, and it arrived damaged. It had taken a massive hit in shipping, and there's this visible crack all the way up through here. I would like to put the imager, the acoustic beacon in here, and see if this crack is actually, does it actually go through? Let's try it out. All right. Uh, let me frame up on this guy. Okay, we're gonna turn on the acoustic beacon. We're gonna put it in the vessel here, and we are going to seal her up. It'll be really nice if it turns out this is a viable vacuum chamber, uh, cause I could use it. I've got a, um, a sealing cap here. If I remove this, we should see the sound pop up there. And we do, right away. Okay, so it would seem, and as soon as I seal it, the sound goes away. No sound at all. I wonder if I lift this, do you see it right there? Yes. Amazing. So this is an overflow valve, and even this is able to be seen as a leak on the vessel. So that tells me that this crack, ugly though it may be, does not necessarily compromise the integrity of this vacuum chamber. Um, I feel like it is not quite enough for me to take its word for it, and I'm gonna go get my vacuum pump and we'll hook it up and we'll double check for sure, but that is super cool. Great. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna pull a vacuum on this right now. There we go. Oh, so the gauge doesn't work, number one. Okay, so now we have double confirmation from both skills of the acoustic imager. The beacon inside isn't revealing a leak, and when I pull a vacuum on this, despite the gauge not working, if it did work, we'd see that it pulled a partial vacuum. And when I open this, you can hear that sound. So if there was a leak, it would be making a pinhole sound that the acoustic imager would be able to detect with or without the, uh, the acoustic ping. Uh, I'm gonna do one final test on the ceramic vase here. Uh, we're gonna find the leak again, and then we are going to mark it with tape and fill it with water. Look, this isn't the primary use case for these. This is for seeing if your car or the car you're making is nice and sealed, or your fridge or uh, other appliances or industrial equipment, making sure it is fully sealed. This is very much an edge case, but I love to know that we can see water leaking out of a crack we can't see. But we're gonna try and do that. Here we go, putting the imager. Sorry, here we go, putting the beacon inside and covering over the top. And now I'm gonna spin this. Do you see uh, already, right away? Um, so I'm going to hold up a piece of tape and you tell me where. Uh, put your hand on the top. Oh, right. Down, 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 down. right about there. Yeah, yeah. okay. All right, so again, whether I'm talking to this camera or this camera. So we've marked where the leak is showing up on the acoustic imager with the beacon inside. Now we're gonna fill it with water. Uh, if there is a leak, my shop towel should turn dark and let us see that right away. I mean, we'll also be able to see the water leaking. You know, we're humans. Okay, turn you off. Whoop, whoop, leaking right away. Wait, oh, 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 oh yeah. Uh, yep, there we go. The water's leaking out and it's, oh, now I see the crack. Now I can actually see it. Here it is, riding all the way down there. The, the arrow was indeed directly on top of the crack. And here it is. 
All right, before this leaks all over my table, uh, I'm going to take this, I'm gonna pour this back in. There we go. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I love playing with meters and gauges and ways of seeing the world in ways that you can't normally see it. And the acoustic imager and its beacon have solved two problems for me today. One, it helped me figure out where the crack was in this. And I know I could have gotten a magnifying glass and a bright flashlight, but we did it with technology, damn it. But even more importantly, this figured out for me that my vacuum chamber is actually working, that it is actually has integrity, that it is a sealable vacuum container. And I'm delighted by that because I've been, here's the thing, I ordered this, it cost like a thousand bucks. It arrived a couple of weeks later, broken. And then sadly, I like put it off in the corner of my office and I've been carting it around in my shop for like, you know, eight years thinking, it's just like a glorified piece of garbage and no longer is it because of this. I think in the final analysis, I really thank you Fluke for giving me a new piece of shop equipment. Actually two, two pieces, three, three, three pieces of shop equipment. Oh my God, the bounty. All right, see you guys next time. <laughs>